Hi second graders, I'm going to show you how to make your own Giyotaku fish print. And I have fake fish for you to use. They're made out of rubber and I have a couple different sizes and types. I'm going to show you on this one because um, it's big and long and um, I think it'll be a great way for you to see how to do, get this done. Now the other tool you're going to have at your table is this tray with a wet sponge and you have some black paint. And I'm going to hold this here and I'm just going to dab some black paint and I don't, I want it to be kind of right into that sponge there. And now what I'm going to do is just dab all over and make sure you get, because this is curved, you want to get it around the curve of the fish's body as well. And of course you learned in the video that Giyotaku was done for uh, fishermen so they could record the size fish that they had taken because that was before photography was invented. So I'm turning it, it down here and you don't have to put the paint on thick that's why we're using a sponge. And the type of paper we're using is called newsprint. It's very thin. It's actually the paper that news, the newspaper is printed on. All right, so I think that's pretty good. Now I'm going to take <clears throat> a piece of paper and I'm going to very carefully lay it over the top of my fish. Now once I put it down, I cannot um, lift it up again. So now I'm going to take my hands and just like I'm wrapping the fish with this paper, I want to make sure my hands, I don't want to rip the paper of course, but I want to press down on all the parts of the fish because that's going to get printed onto my paper. When I think I've done a pretty good job, I'm going to carefully lift it up. Ooh, and look, I did a pretty good job. Now you're going to put your name and room number on the back of this because I will be uh, framing these for you. Okay? So good luck and have fun making your Giyotaku prints.